I've just received a nice big box from Hornby via Colonel Model Railway Centre in Cornwall for what I hopefully is all nine carriages of the of Hornby's Midland Blue Pullman uh, Class 43 HST. You know the blue one with the white window. It looks like the original Blue Pullman ish. I've uh, never done one of these box opening things before, but it's a very big box. So. Uh, here we go. Let's start with a nice thing. Go down here. <coughs> yeah. Not easy doing things. Ooh, one handed, is it? Try to film with the other. Use a foot. Just stop it. There we go. Like that. Like that. And along the top, I suppose, here. Try and find it. Where's the gap? There it is. Hope you don't go through and damage something just the other side. It's always rubbery, but I always do that with a, with a knife like that, stop it going right through. There you go. I don't know done that side, don't I? There you go. Come back, and what have we got? Oh, good. Haven't damaged anything. Oh. <coughs> Only a box at the minute. I know the price of all these things is probably very scary. Oh, 30, about £39 each that Kona are selling off all. Well, that's because I advanced order them about, I don't know. They were first advertised. Wasn't that in their centenary one? 2020, something like that? Not sure. Something like that. Anyway. Every one I can think of there. Oh, Larry Cushions there. There we go, lots and lots of. Hmm, is there nine in here? A lot of packaging, isn't there? Aha, uh -huh, here's one. Oh, this is one of the. Oh, it's a new one to one box. That looks smart. They're very long, aren't they? Bit better on their red looking boxes with a yellow stripe, that right is. Looks like with that colour blue in it on the box, it should have one of their new coronation for the LNER in it, which it might have at one point. So, I don't know. Ooh. Anyway, there's nine carriages in here. I'm not going to undo all of them. I'm not sure how you're supposed to undo one of these single handed by holding a selfie stick in the other. Ah, oh. look at that. And zoom in, there's a whole a whole train there. All of them. That's that's clever. There you know where you've got the whole lot. Well I've totally ordered the whole lot. Can this thing focus on that? Oh yeah. How close can we get? So you can see it. There you go. It's a yeah, pretty bad video this. But not for as many people have ordered all of these. I've already got the, the car, I've done a film of that already. Go around a mate's layout. Haven't got any sound in it. I'll fit that later. If at all. I don't know. Better look at what it says, I suppose. Starting back here again. Oop. Oh. I get it level. And then go for the other one. Paragraph. Or block. Yeah. The coach is this. Doesn't really matter which coach it is, but they all look very similar from the outside. A few windows in different places as carriages do.
I don't know what I do, I have to do a pause and open the box. That makes more sense, doesn't it? Right, there's something. There's a trick. Pen knife. Not many people carry knives, I think it's illegal. It is not, as long as it's sound of three. How to open one of these boxes. So those little come on, focus. These little slits on there. Well don't rip. Use the back of the blade. Go in and lever it up like that and go on to the other side. See, look at that, nice and easy, no ripping. You try to get hold of your hand and do that, it will probably rip and you don't want these boxes to rip. Everything's basically a collector's item these days. All for the second hand market. Can't do that. Here we go. What we got? Usual old clamshell stuff. Yeah. These are brand new tooled coaches. These are their new Mark 3s. That's why I'm bothering to film it. Yeah. Oh, these are the new magnetic couplings as well. Hmm. Well, other people have done reviews on those. Probably Sam's train certainly has. Let him do that. I'm not doing that, but he hasn't got one of these. I bet. So, make sure I don't drop the down coach. It's not easy doing this. Alright. Now, it's going to be a rubbish video, but not many other people have got this. Alright, here it is. What can we see? Can you focus on it? Go on. Well, it's got the normal NEM, whatever those tension lock things, couplings start with. That's the norm. Oh, that's a nice frayed jumper of mine. Great. Oh, it's, it matches the coat. Yeah, nice colour, isn't it? What are the bogies like? Hmm. Well, actually, it looked like plastic, not painted. And there's a bit of weathering, rail dirt. As they get along that bottom bit, it'll make it look a bit more realistic. Where is it? If I hold it up to the window, can we see inside the coach? Hmm. Oh. Where is it? Where's the window? There it is. Hmm. Yeah, there's stuff in all different colours. You had a table, I can't really tell through those. Well, they're actually different colour tables to the seats or not. You know, turn around look at the bogies again. Yeah, it's been printed. Come on, what are you supposed to be focusing on? What are you focusing on? Focus on the train, not the bloody mantelpiece. What's it doing? Put it down here, that makes it better. And he suddenly wants to focus on everything else but the coach. What's the matter with it? Come on. It's actually a very expensive, that's better, filming tool. Turn it upside down. Yeah. Okay, that's just plain on the bottom, isn't it? Not a lot there. Very simple looking bogies. Yeah. Easy to take the wheels out though, look at that. Very easy to spring those apart to get the wheels out if you need to. Oh, that looks like a... I guess that's where a battery goes or something for the, the lighting. No idea where it comes with lighting. I haven't read the box. Can't remember. I just ordered them when they came out. I like the colour scheme of blue Pullmans, no matter what they are. So... Hmm. What's the roof? Uh, not much different to their previous efforts, I suppose. Not focusing again. What's the matter with it? Come on. Oh, what's the matter with it? I normally have a problem with this. It's normally rock solid to focus on. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it now. I don't know. Yeah, so that's all right. It's a bit strange. Some little handrails there in metal, I can see. That must be a toilet window, I guess. White it out. There's a Pullman logo on it. I thought there's. I don't know. Do they normally have their bogies not painted? 
Anyway, I suppose they think any uh, serious modellers are going to weather them anyway. They're wasting their time painting them black. There we go. I don't know what coach that is. What do I do with the box? I'll put it down on the carpet. <coughs> like that. So there's no bits on the carpet? Yeah, right. Like what is this coach? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? No, it doesn't say there, it says there, doesn't it? What does it say? Oh, it is a guard's rank type thing. Guard standard. Rest it on there so it's not wobbling about. Hmm. Oh. Anyway, I assume most of the other coaches are going to look very much the same. Oh, has that got it all in there? Yeah. Leave it at that. Well, there's this um, mystery compartment underneath the coach. I haven't seen one on a Hornby coach before. So I better investigate as part of this uh, opening the boxes up and stuff. Well, so let's have a look. It's a Phillips or something similar. Crosshead screw. See, very hard to film black. Two lights here, and I go like that, and you can't see a thing, can you? Lights everywhere, can't see a thing. That's a funny angle. Very similar. Trying to film a Lancaster bomber in here. It's all black. I don't see a thing. Well, not my black aeroplane. Yeah. Alright, now, it's not obvious how this comes off. There's a slot. Well, I've got this dentist tool thing. So let's have a poke it in there and have a rook. Hmm. Something must happen, I would have thought. Ah, there we go. So that's what you want, a little thin hooky thing. Oh, well, there's nothing there, is there? Oh well, it's just a blank. Must be something if you buy one of their lighting lighting bar kits. You must install in there to put one of those big sort of penny sized battery things. <coughs> so anyway, you need to know this sort of thing, I suppose. So I think that might work. Oh, well, let's prove something, isn't it? Any other minor details we can look at? Oh, we got the cap on a tripod and it's not wobbling about. Look at those bogies, maybe? Not really. Lighting's not the right type of lighting. Now oh, ten past nine at night, so there's no natural daylight getting to this. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to show you. So, hmm, okay. Pop it back on again then. Oh, I see, there's a little tongue there. Can you see that? I don't know. Yeah, so that goes underneath that like that. Something sort of thing pops down carefully, push it down there. Tiny little screw right over there. That is a very small screw. What they should design, well, I know about these things in aerospace, they're called captive fixings. So the little screw has got a washer on the other side. So it comes undone, but the screw doesn't actually come out the panel, it remains attached. Any Hornby employee listening, take note. Or any other manufacturer of model stuff, take note. So there you go, that's what that is. Mm. Look at that, just fits in frame. <laughs> just. <laughs> 